It doesn't seem like it, but it's one of the most important parts of our race. A lot of the time you see us packing it and jumping up and down and doing all the things that, that look weird to the fans. It's kind of weird that you would think so much goes into your starting gate, but there's a lot that goes into it. Literally, if he doesn't pack it good, you get a bad start, the race is over. When I first came over to the U.S., all the mechanics were prepping their riders' gate. In Europe, it's the complete opposite. Coming from uh, Europe, racing the, the GPs, you, you make your own line behind the gate. The mechanic cannot even touch uh, the, the dirt. I always prep my gate, and still to this point, I do. I know what I'm looking for, and I know what I want. I know that Frankie is doing a good job, but I want to make sure, and sometimes, when he's done doing the gate, then I like, I like to make it like a, a little, little tune-up or, or something. I want to make sure it's, uh, it's my final uh, touch. I've been working with my mechanic maybe seven years now, so he, we have a routine, you know. I, I let him pick the gate, let him pack the gate. I just sit back and kind of get in the zone. I honestly do not touch the gate. I haven't touched the gate in like five years. I do with a little bit of work, you know, but I think Carlos, he kind of likes to be hands-on and he likes to kind of get in there. He, nobody's going to do it the way he does it. Depending on how the dirt conditions is, usually if the dirt's very, uh, you know, pliable, you can kind of move it around, then I'll do it myself. But once it's, uh, you know, hard packing stuff, the mechanics usually have uh, their own kind of boots with like, you know, a metal tip on them or whatnot, that they can actually do a little bit more prepping than we can. When it's hard, that is more um, slippery, you know, a lot less traction. When it's a little softer, uh, typically we get a lot more traction. You want traction, but you don't want too much traction where you wheelie, really, but you don't want enough where you spin. So there's a, it's a real fine line. It's nice and packed, and it's a uh, bike can get the power sooner. You're trying to create a launch pad. Sometimes the rut's a lot, lot lower, so you gotta make a nice transition because if the front wheel hits that, it pops up, or the rear, it can upset the bike. When it's really soft and the ruts get super deep, you wanna try to get some dirt and, and make the rut as high as possible so you're not starting into a hole. Maybe a little bit higher in the rear, kind of I'd say sloping down just so you have that extra momentum. You know, coming off the line, coming into the gate with that extra bit of pressure on your front brake or clutch. Most guys try to elevate the pad so you, you get kind of above the, the bar when you go across it. And other guys sometimes put a little bit of soft soil near the rear tire to get the spin. On West Coast, you have a rut and you want the rut to grab the sidewalls of your tire so you kind of leave the rut. But East Coast, there's so much traction, sometimes too much traction. If my gate's not packed that great, or if my gate's not very good, if there's a big hole in the front, there's just a little doubt that starts to creep in. And once that doubt creeps in, pretty much know you're not going to get the whole shot. 